Good morning, YouTube. Mr. G Unit. <clears throat> it just rained just last night, so. All good. It'd be perfect to take the motorcycle out, but. I guess every year. My bike gets hit by a. All parked at work so it's in the shop getting all the estimates done and everything so motorcyclists for about I don't know how long this is gonna take two three months for repairs to get done so the what last year I posted about getting the motorcycle back and now it's at the shop again for left side fairing damage because someone backed into it and knocked it over so the left side tail fairing is all broken gonna need Actually, I think they'll hopefully they'll f replace the whole tail fairings. Right side, left side, in the center. And then probably replace my tail light side signals. And I think my gas tank cover. My... crash bumpers I don't know and then I have to report that they also I gotta get a new bike cover I wonder if they make bike covers that are in a different color other than black gray the fluorescent orange bike cover so that they can see that there's a bike behind them usually I try to park you know well away and give cars plenty of distance if I'm parking behind a car in front of a car but I don't know I did that last year and I parked in one of those tiny spots that's only about four feet wide. And a car pulling out of his driveway still hits my car, hits my bike. So, what can you do? Anyways, it's been a while, been very busy. Trying this new camera setup of dual camera, right? On the phone, so. More editing than I've ever done. <laughs> it is a nice, clear Thursday morning. hauling more stuff in a car but somehow I find it easier to jump on the motorcycle I don't know some of my friends find it the other way but to me if it's just myself going from point A to point B I don't mind slapping on some gear a helmet boots and getting on the motorcycle Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 